I've been a workaholic almost all my life. And one of the reasons why is because I've learned that from my parents, from my dad, from my mom. My dad used to work seven days a week in the supermarket that he owned. He used to work seven days a week as an insurance salesman when I was uh, a kid. We kind of didn't really see him much. And if we did see him on the weekends, uh, it was mostly because it was a public holiday or from memory, it's just like maybe those are the days that he didn't set appointments or my mom needed something or whatever the case may be. I don't remember clearly, but I remember that we didn't really spend much time. My brother and I didn't really spend much time with him. And so I'm not blaming my dad for the fact that I work so hard. But one thing that's been on my mind this week is that, that I work a lot and that I've always worked a lot. And when I, when I read the four-hour work week by Tim Ferriss, I realized that, well, he showed me in that book that it was possible to actually work online. That was one of my main takeaways from that book, to be able to work anywhere and do the thing that we want to do to make money, to earn, to earn an income, earn US dollars, and, and be able to do the thing from, where, from anywhere. And I think I've achieved that. I can pretty much be anywhere. Sure, I have my studio and my desk and my office and all of those things here. But I don't actually need that to make these videos. I don't actually need that to do, to do my work. I could, you know, I've worked from hotels room, uh, hotel rooms around, around Thailand, around in different areas of the world as well. And it's, it's, it's pretty much e easy to do for me at this point. But one thing that Caleb, who's a friend of mine and coach... We just got, I just got off a coaching call with him now, about 30 minutes ago. We were talking about this concept of being able to work four days a week. And he asked me, the, or three days a week, and he asked me this question of, if you could only work three days a week, what would you do? And that created a bit of like anxiety in me. It created a bit of like, what, how is that even possible? One is like, how would I get all the work done in three days? Then on the other side of that is like, what would I do with like, what the fuck would I do with the other four days? Like, seriously, because I haven't ever been in a situation where I hadn't had something that I needed to do. And I look around at influencers today. I look around at sort of these, you know, men and women who are working themselves to death, hustling all day long, Gary Vee and, you know, a couple other people online who are just relentlessly building their business and making tons of content and doing all of the things that they're doing and we are modeling after them. We are following them because we, we think that that's what success looks like. And it's one of those things where I've been thinking about because it's like, well, actually, I don't really want that life. Like Bedros Kulian, who's somebody who I've followed for a while, put a post on Instagram last week where he said, he was, at, he was in a barber shop, or sorry, he was getting his hair cut in his office. So his barber came to his office. He was in the cape. Barber was cutting his hair. And there was a girl in the photo who was taking notes on a laptop. And there was a gentleman who was standing against the desk and clearly listening to him because he was, Bedros was talking. And in the caption, it said that he's, you know, been working nine uh, he works a nine figure business his businesses are doing well but he's getting a haircut at his office because it was the only time that he had to get it done because he was going for an interview or something or the other and he had to have a meeting or he has these meetings with his team during that time at the same time and i was like yeah that's like highly efficient that's cool it's cool that you can get your barber to come to the office but then also i thought about like well the fact that you have to like optimize your whole your life in a way that requires that from you is kind of an interesting concept. Now I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm not saying it's not the right thing to do, but I don't think that I want to live that type of a lifestyle. I currently don't get a barber to come to my home to cut my hair, but you know, I don't think I want to get to a point where I'm so engrossed in the business and so addicted to that success that hustle is just me. I don't think I'm that person. And so it's not to say that I'm anti-hustle, but I just don't want that for my life. And honestly, I don't want that for you either. 
there's this concept called enough. I think it's very interesting. Like, what is enough for us? Sure, we want to build legacy. Sure, we want to help a lot of people. But if I could have it my way, if I could do things differently, I would want to work three, four days a week, would want to have that lifestyle where I can take a break without feeling guilty, where I can actively be involved in the community with you guys, with people that are you know, working with me, my clients, a couple of days a week for a couple of hours in that day, I can continue making the content because I actually enjoy making these videos now and still make the money that I'm making or make more, right? To be able to use leverage. I spoke about marketing automation in one of the other videos, so definitely subscribe and go check out that video. But this is the concept that I'm look, working towards. Right now, I'm working something like seven or eight hours on my own business, and then I'm working five, six, maybe seven hours uh, with a client, which is pretty much a full-time job. So I'm working two jobs, essentially. And it's not to say that I'm burnt out, or it's not to say that I'm not enjoying it, but I still feel guilty. Like I'm Like, there's a public holiday coming up next week on Monday, and I'm kind of not booking a trip. I'm not doing something fun. I'm not planning a good, you know, relaxing weekend. I thought of maybe flying to Bali or I thought of flying to Singapore and I'm like, eh, what am I going to do there? And I think that's an un- unhealthy space to be in. I think that's a, that's a belief that I need to break. And so the reason I'm making this video is because I think for me, my journey from when I read Tim Ferriss's book, on trying to figure out how to do this thing online. I've achieved that. Now my next mission, my next vision, the mountain that I want to climb is this concept of leaning into peace. What I mean by that is I want to be able to work the hours I want to work to be able to build the lifestyle I want to have and make the money that I want to make without having to grind my face off all the time without having to fucking get on meetings all the time to talk about things that are maybe irrelevant or or just going to occupy my time for no reason. And it's not to say that meetings are not important. They are. Some meetings are. But I want to really lean into this concept of marketing automation and business automation to buy back my time, to hire the people that I need to hire, to work on things that are important in the business for me and for my clients, and get to a point where there's leverage in the business, where these videos are being watched by millions of people, where my voice and my speaking and my opinions and my work is being shared without me having to actually physically be present. Like that's the magic of what a business should be, right? I, th- I think that's the type of life that I want to have. Sure, there might be multiple activities going on and there might be multiple people that need my attention or need my sign-off or need my approval, whatever the case may be. But I'm pretty sure that I can build my life up to a point where I can manage those things, where I have the time and I have the space and I have the energy and I have the resources to be able to do all the things I want to do, have all the things I want to have, be with the people that I want to be with and be able to just fucking enjoy life. I am enjoying life. I am happy. But I think I could do this better. I think I can make it even more enjoyable. And I want that for you too. And so part of these videos, part of this channel, part of the reason that I'm making these videos is not only to just share my journey, but also to let you in on some of the secrets, some of the things that I'm working on, and hopefully show you some of the things that I've done and am currently doing to to develop that to develop into that person so i hope that you follow along subscribe if you want to follow the journey you know what to do thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one